Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and this is the next video of a series where I teach you guys Puppeteer and web scraping using JavaScript and I decided that in this video I'm going to teach you guys how to make a really interesting bot which I, ha I haven't seen it before. Probably there there's other bots that do the same thing but basically there's this really cool website that I've always used to test my typing speed. So basically you just come here and type like here bring you type the words and basically at the end uh, if you get something wrong, it also like accounts for that. And at the end, it will give you a, a score for a CPM, which basically will tell you how fast you're writing, right? So that that's important. And basically, we're gonna write a bot that is gonna cheat the system. So I like I don't like cheating uh, systems. However, this is like harmless in my opinion because uh, there like I looked at the high scores and there was a, there were already a bunch of bots, like a bunch of people getting perfect scores. So I wouldn't affect it like no way whatsoever in my opinion so i'm just going to show you guys because it's a really interesting learning experience and i'll show you guys exactly how to create a bot that is just going to write everything immediately super fast and like write all the words in less than like five seconds so basically uh, the first thing we need is to grab the link here for this website so we're going to grab this we're going to go here to our puppeteer uh, our application right and we're going to change the go to from the page to become this i already did this but you got to paste it over here so we know that we're telling the bot to go to this page so now that we did this we can start analyzing the page right so i'm going to come here to the page and i'm going to start analyzing what i want so what i'm thinking is i first need to come over here and i need to grab the list of all the words that exist over here as you can see if i if i inspect element and i hate this ads but basically if i inspect element you can see clearly that there's a, a div called words which contains all the different words inside of it. So there's like a bunch of words, as you can see. And these are all the words that the bot is going to, like the, the website is testing us. So these are the, all the possible words we can write. And this is extremely important because now we can just come over here and we can grab this value for this over here. This is the div which we actually need to keep in track, right? So we're going to tell our bot to, before doing anything, we're going to tell it to wait for... Uh, the next word, uh, an element with next word as the class to be rendered. Why? Because the website is going to render all the words at the same time. However, it is important to acknowledge that uh, we have to tell the bot to wait because they might not appear. So we, we might be trying to reach for something that doesn't exist. So what we're going to tell it is to basically just come over here and page, actually await page dot wait for selector like we did in the last videos and we're going to tell it to wait for basically the dot next word item so basically we're telling it to wait for an element in the screen to appear having the class next word which means the words have been rendered and we can get them and turn them into a list so as i mentioned we we've did something very similar to this in the last videos we know how to uh, especially in the last video, we know how to evaluate the page and get a list of all the items that we want specifically. So what we want is actually to get a list containing all of the items with the ID next word. However, there's also something important that you can see that the first like element, the one that initializes, so this one right here, which is the first element in the, the first word, it, it doesn't have in a class of next word, it has a class of current word, and we're going to account for that. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to account for that. So basically what we've got to do is we've got to evaluate the page so page dot evaluate and we're going to actually create a, a variable so const let's call it words it's going to be a, a variable this over here is going to be equal to a function which is going to return all of the different like the list of words and now and after this we can just use this to to create the bot right so we're going to evaluate the page and we can pass a function inside of this and this function can take all the javascript that we want to query all the elements so the first element we want is the words. So we're going to query every single word. Actually, just I would just say word elements. So it's all the different next word elements. So we're going to grab all of this and put it into a list. So to do that, we're going to say document dot query selector all. And we're going to pass the dot next word a selector right because we want to grab all the elements with next word this will return an, an array of spans because each next word is a span as you can see right here but it's not exactly what we want but we're going to filter through that at later and in order to do that we have to come over here and basically just 
loop through every one of those elements, so word, elements, and we want to use a for each loop, which means we're going to loop through each one of them, and we want to only grab the inner text of them. So basically, you can see it's a span, and the inner text is actually the word we want. So we don't want to gra grab the, the class, the ID, the style, nothing of that. We just want to grab the inner text because it's actually representing the word. So how do we do this? We actually need to create a separate array, so a separate list. I'm going to call it word list. And it's going to start as empty. And we have to, uh, for each element, so for each word, we want to basically just push to the word list. So word list, we want to push the element. So no, it's not element It's word, it's word dot inner text. So this is the only thing we want. Grab the inner text from the word. So this word over here represents uh, each iteration of the word elements. And each element in the word elements is a different span, which has a class of next word. So for if, if we are in the first uh, iteration of the for each loop, we're basically pushing into the word list array, we're pushing find, then draw, then O, then people, we're just pushing all the words into that. However, as I mentioned before, we have to account that the first word, which is current word, um, like the first word, which is might actually, uh, isn't being added because it is not it doesn't have a selector called the next word, which isn't something good for us. So we need to fix that. So how do we do that? Well, we see that word list initializes as empty, and we can actually fix that, we can grab the only element in the project that has in the, in the page that has the current word class, and we can just grab its inner HTML and initialize it, inner text, sorry, and initialize the array already having the first element being the current word. So that's what we're doing, we initialize it having the might. And then we basically just use a forge loop to add all the different elements you having a next word class. So that's perfect. Now that we have our, our array, we can just return this uh, word list. And what that means is basically now we have an exterior uh, element called words, which contains the values for all the word lists. So, so it's basically this is the array. And we can test that by coming over here. And let's try await and console.log. And let's try console logging words. And let's run this. Let's run node index.js. And you can see that it's going to open up the website. It's going to wait a bit because it actually takes a bit to load this website because of all of the, the ads and everything. And let's see if it works. It's supposed to console log the list of all the different words. Let's see. Um, it's gonna it's loading as you can see the, the ads and as you can see, it loaded all the words, there's about 300 words, I know that for sure. And you can see clearly it worked. However, <laughs> I just I just realized uh, the we actually did this wrong a bit the first the the first element, the current word, we it's it's no currently. And the reason for that is because we're using query selector all which gets an array, we don't want that we just want query selector and that will work. I'm sure this will become the first element which is less but you can see the second one is boy, which is the same word over here. And the third one is tap. So that means we are actually grabbing and creating this list. So what do we actually do now we want to write we want to type on the on this input right here, every time we and, and like do it really fast, right for each element in the list. So how do we do that? Well, we have the list over here. So what we can do is we can just use a for loop. So we can say for let I let I equal zero, I is less than words, uh, words dot length. So basically, we're looping through the words list, and I plus plus, we're just looping through it. And for each iteration of that loop, we can await to type, we can basically type on the input. So we're going to use the await and the type function that we learned in the last videos. So we're going to say await page, so um, page dot type, and we got to find a selector for this input. So let's check to see if we can find anything if we come over here. Um, you can see that the input has an idea of input. And I'm guessing that this is the only input in this page. It's the only one I can see. So we can just try to reach and query a selector that has this idea right here. So the idea of input, let's try that. We're going to use this to type in this input. So we're going to try to reach for the element with the input ID. And then what do we actually what word do we want to type in that input? Well, we want to work, we want to type the current iteration of the words list. So we can just say words, I, 
which means that we're currently typing the word and like we're going through each word and typing on it. And basically, we're, we're just doing this. However, there's another thing that we need to account for. It doesn't like we just we it isn't ju just that we need to type the word, we need to press space, for example, if I write might over here, I have to press space to go to the next word, as you can see. So what do we actually do? Well, we have to basically tell our keyboard to press space after it typed this. So what we can do is we can come over here. And as I mentioned in the last video, we can t say page dot keyboard dot press. And over here, we have to pass a function which will get the key code from space. And what I like to do is actually like to come over here and say, JavaScript, um, key codes, something like this. And there's a yeah, this right here, key code dot info. This is a website, you can just click press on any uh, keyboard like uh, any button in the keyboard and it will tell you that the, the key code so space is 32. We can just copy this. And we can paste it over here. And actually just say string dot from char code. This is a method which will convert uh, it to basically it was 32, right? Yeah, 32, it will convert it into um, an acceptable format to basically tell the page to press that keyboard button. So now what we're doing is we're looping through every element in the list, we're telling it to type the word so we type the element. And then, then we're telling it to press space. So literally, I think this is it. Let's try running our bot to see what happens. So I'm going to run node index.js. And let's see what happens. It's going to open up. And as before, like it's going to take a bit because of all the ads that are loading and we're told it to, to, to wait till all the elements has loaded so that we don't we don't waste time and we actually have time to get grab all the elements. So as you can see, it's loading everything. And when it starts typing, I'll come back. Okay, guys, I actually there was an error in our code, I wrote here word for some reason, we are supposed to write words, which is the array. So if you guys any of you guys catch this then uh, caught this, then uh, props to you, I accidentally did this. So I need to restart my bot, and I'm gonna run it. And it's gonna load everything again. And I will come back when it starts typing. Okay, guys, so as you can see the bot started, it's literally just typing uh, super fast in the in the input, I'm not touching my keyboard or anything, it's typing every single word. And when it reaches 300 words, um, you'll see that it'll basically say that we're, <laughs> we're like the, the fastest typer typers in the world. So basically, here's the bot working, you can see that it actually depends a bit on your internet, because it took a bit to load my page. So that's important to understand. So let's see how fast it will actually go I have I as you can see right here, it's <laughs> it broke some records. It said, congratulations, you typed all the words correctly. Uh, I advise you to take two minutes break now because it knows that <laughs> we, t we like apparently we we, ty we we typed super fast. And we got a record breaking CPM, you can see that the normal one, like all the recent ones are 143 or uh, I don't know, 53 words per minute, we got 625 words per minute, which is inhumanly impossible, you can you, you can get that right. So we can run this how many times we want, sometimes it will be faster than others, because uh, it waits a bit to load everything. And that's something that is important to understand. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, I like to make this project because basically, I believe it is a cool thing. And it incorporates everything that we learned so far also teaches you guys some more important topics about how to structure your application, all that kind of stuff. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like down below and comment what you want to see next. Uh, subscribe because I'm posting every single day and I would really appreciate it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time.